Viewers who have seen our Vivo X70 Pro Plus full review will know that the X70 Pro Plus is great at taking pictures. Previously, we compared the X60 Pro Plus with the Samsung S21 Ultra, but as of today, the S22 Ultra has not yet launched. So, today, we'll put the X70 Pro Plus against another recently released hot phone, the iPhone 13 Pro. Welcome to Gizmo China's Vivo X70 Pro Plus versus iPhone 13 Pro camera comparison video. I'm Kieran. To be honest, if we just compared the paper specs, the iPhone 13 Pro is not qualified to be the rival of X70 Pro Plus. Not only does the iPhone lack a traditional camera lens brand cooperation like Zeiss, but there's also no periscope telephoto lens. And the pixel size of the main camera sensor is not as big as the GN1 after the 4-in-1 binning. But the iPhone is the best at using software optimization to make up for the lack of hardware. So we have divided this video comparison into three parts. Photos, videos, and experience in using the camera. Let's talk about the quality of their photos first. The X70 Pro Plus is undoubtedly more vibrant, has higher contrast, and looks more pleasing to the eye. But everyone likes different color preferences, so even if the iPhone favors true colors, we can't say it's worse than the X70 Pro Plus. The dynamic range on the X70 Pro Plus is significantly better than the iPhone 13 Pro. iPhone's smart HDR can overexpose small areas of highlights. The darker parts of the pictures are brighter than the X70 Pro Plus. Even though the X70 Pro Plus's main camera is 50 megapixels, in daily use with 4-in-1 pixel binning, it actually takes pictures equal to about 12 megapixels. The difference in clarity is not visible during the daytime, but at night, the iPhone benefits from an excellent algorithm, and even if the X70 Pro Plus has night mode turned on, the iPhone will still be a bit clearer than the X70 Pro Plus. But again, the difference is not that huge. However, there is a significant difference in how the photos process flares. Since the iPhone has started using sapphire glass lens, the problem of flare at night has become very serious. Compared to the X70 Pro Plus, which has Zeiss T-Star coating, the difference is very obvious. When shooting with the iPhone 13 Pro, it is better to avoid situations that can give rise to flare as much as possible. The ultra-wide lens generally performs the same as the main camera. The X70 Pro Plus is still better in terms of HDR strength, although the purple fringing issue of the ultra-wide lens is much less than the X70 Pro Plus when compared to the X60 Pro Plus. It is still worse than the iPhone. At night, because of the smaller sensor, the iPhone will have more noise in the picture. But I still like the way iPhone handles this more than the X70 Pro Plus, which makes the image blurry like an oil painting in order to erase the noise. The X70 Pro Plus's standard lenses are 50mm equivalent. The iPhone 13 Pros are 77mm equivalent. So in the 2x sample, the X70 Pro Plus uses a 2x portrait lens and the iPhone uses a 2x zoom crop of the main camera. Clearly, the X70 Pro Plus is the overall winner in this focal length. Of course, when you zoom into three times, the X70 Pro Plus is using a portrait lens zoom crop, and the iPhone is using a 77mm lens. But the difference between the two is not as great as it was with the two times. While it's true that the iPhone will be sharper in the 77mm focal length, the dynamic range is still better with the X70 Pro Plus. The iPhone's three-time lens has one advantage. In very dark conditions, the X70 Pro Plus's two-times portrait lens cannot be called up in a normal mode and can only be cropped by zooming in on the main camera. The iPhone can still call up the three-times lens and get a good picture when zoomed in to three times. The iPhone does not have a periscope telephoto lens, so when the image is zoomed into five times, the X70 Pro Plus, which has a five times periscope telephoto, theoretically beats the iPhone. But the difference in the actual samples is not large. The iPhone with a three times lens zoom crop does not lose to the X70 Pro Plus. You can zoom in to see the subtle differences. Because the three times lens can perform to such a degree, I think it is already very impressive. Because the iPhone 13 Pro's wide angle lens supports autofocus, it can also take macro photos. Compared to the X70 Pro Plus, which also shoots macro with an ultra wide lens, the iPhone can shoot closer and the photos taking will be more stunning. We have put together the portrait mode and selfie section for you to see here. Both phones perform well in portrait mode for selfies. The iPhone's background bokeh is stronger and the X70 Pro Plus is not as strong as the iPhone's default aperture bokeh, even when the aperture is open to the maximum. And even if you turn off the beauty algorithm on the X70 Pro Plus, the AI color algorithm will help you optimize the color of your skin and it will look healthier. If you just look at the clarity, the difference between the two is again not so obvious. When it comes to the video part, it shows just how powerful the iPhone's algorithms are. The fixed camera shot of the main camera clearly shows that the iPhone not only does a good job of holding down the highlights and brightening the dark areas, but also has much better clarity than the X70 Pro Plus. 
The same goes for the super wide angle lens. The X70 Pro Plus not only lags behind the iPhone 13 Pro in terms of dynamic range and sharpness, but also has a much narrower field of view than the iPhone. Of course, this choice allows the X70 Pro Plus to be more stable when recording in motion. This video shows the advantages of combining a gimbal and electronic stabilization. iPhone's ultra-wide camera is not as stable as the X70 Pro Plus when it comes to motion shots, but if it's the main camera without a gimbal, the two are closer in terms of stabilization performance. Some viewers are more concerned about whether the X70 Pro Plus can switch lenses in recording, and the answer is yes but only in 1080p 30fps mode. The iPhone 13 Pro can switch any of the three lenses in 4K 30fps mode. I believe everyone is tired of listening to how good the cinematic mode of iPhone 13 Pro is for shooting people. So let's compare the effect of the X70 Pro Plus with the real bokeh effect of shooting objects. Cinematic's bokeh algorithm is really good. The background bokeh is very natural, but the disadvantage is also very obvious. The edge keying is still not very accurate. The edges are vague as the object is glowing. Also, the 1080p 30fps recording specifications are not quite good enough for this mode. In short, the cinematic mode still needs to be improved. The X70 Pro Plus has HDR video support for the main camera, so let's compare the HDR video recording performance of the main camera. I believe I don't need to explain much. This time, the iPhone once again won with its superb algorithm. The performance of the iPhone in the video section tells us that a powerful chip with an excellent algorithm is really able to beat phones with stronger hardware. The experience of using the camera is also a very important part of the camera system. It can be said whether the experience of the camera is good or bad determines the frequency of your photos. The iPhone takes the lead in fast photo experience. Even if you press the shutter quickly and continuously, there is no lag. On the X70 Pro Plus, even with the assistance of the V1 chip, there will still be a delay when you press the shutter quickly. However, iPhone sometimes does not respond when you press the shutter lightly, and this problem can occur frequently. Maybe it's an optimization made by the iPhone's engineers to prevent you from accidentally touching it. Thanks for the thought, engineer, but I don't like this design that prevents accidental touches as it doesn't feel natural. And when testing the lens switching, a new bug appeared again on the X70 Pro Plus, which is in addition to the bug found in our full review. It can be said that the experience is really not particularly good. In the real-time preview of the viewfinder, thanks to the V1 chip, the X70 Pro Plus is still very close to the performance of the iPhone. Even scenes with very bright light ratios can achieve more than 90% of the iPhone's level. And shockingly, the X70 Pro Plus still performs very well in extreme low light. But of course, the preview frame of the iPhone is still the same as the photo taken. This is something the X70 Pro Plus can't do yet. It takes a photo that is significantly brighter than the preview frame. So this was the end of our iPhone 13 Pro Plus versus Vivo X70 Pro Plus comparison. We found from the test that the X70 Pro Plus is a little better at taking pictures, with good dynamic range and color performance, as well as periscope telephoto. On the other hand, iPhone 13 Pro does a better job of video recording and camera experience, but the quality difference isn't as significant as one might expect. Which phone you end up choosing as your photography device depends entirely on your personal use habits. After all, there is no perfect phone, only the one that suits you best. This is Kieran from Gizmo China, and we'll see you next time.